Welcome to the December garden tour. I just wanted to show you the garden, how it's prepared for winter, what's still blooming. That's actually quite surprising. And also all the protection that I had to do to protect my tulip pots from squirrels. Let's get started. So, I thought I'd give you a quick mid-December, almost end of December garden tour to show you what's still flowering. It's quite surprising, wait for it. We start with my mini cold frame. It's a bit messy, but we have gorgeous foxgloves that are needing to be planted and some ornamental kale. I think those are going to be gorgeous in late winter pots. We painted it a color called Wild Time by Copriol two years ago now, so it's lasted really well and it's matching the color of our shed. Over here, just by the door, I moved around when I changed my pot display, this gorgeous Autumn Joy sedum. And you can see now the flowers have faded, but the seed heads still look really good. So I'll keep those up until spring. And at the base of the plant, it's growing again, ready for next season. One of my mini lilacs, I really love them. We have lots of buds forming for next year, so that's encouraging. This is going to need a bit of pruning to remove some of the smaller branches and continue shaping it. And then we have this gorgeous collection of winter pots that I put together in a recent video with the star of the show being this gorgeous pot with a white kale, some cyclamens, a little rosemary tucked in in the middle, ischemia, beautiful, and a variegated holly. I really love that combination and it's still looking really good. I just had to pull a couple of leaves from the cabbage and the cyclamen. I really love the white and green. Then I have my little blue spruce. I've had this one for two years in a pot growing. That's my that's my real Christmas tree moment. I really love it. Also have another gorgeous metal urn with some trailing ivy. And a bit of chocolate mint, my little two jars that are starting to bronze up for winter. It's still leafing out and putting on some new growth. I, I think it was attacked by slugs. So many buds. It's gorgeous, it's white blooms. Then just under I have a campanula that is still blooming in December. We've had a very mild winter so far. I love that apricot color, it's really, really gorgeous. I need to dead at those a bit. But overall, I think that little vignette looks really pretty. Directly on the other side, we have my window box, still empty. I need to remedy that. Then I have another lilac here that did flower. I think this one is Charles Joy. It's putting on some buds as well. We're still hanging on to a couple of leaves. They will fall very soon. At the bottom here, I still have daisies flowering happily at the end of December. Roald Dahl has decided to throw more blooms. Gorgeous. Not sure what's happening here. It looks like a deficiency of some kind. I have another rose. This one is a lady gardener. And again, we've <laughs> had another flush of bloom. Another gorgeous bloom. This is, this is crazy. Look at that, look. Then over there in the corner, that hasn't changed since June. You may remember all those plants from the garden tour. I did have to pull out the clematis. That didn't fare so well, but still have a few geraniums hanging on and some osteospermums as well. Looking good, <laughs> kind of spread. I think I'm going to leave them there, they're happy. Then we have our little collection of sempervivums. Those absolutely love this spot. It gets nailed by sun. We have a waste facing garden, so I have a lot of sun on the decking over here. This is a shaded area, and this also gets sun in the, in the afternoon, and then I have a little strip of morning sun over there. They're doing well. 
then I still need to cover <laughs> my furniture. Hi. Hi, Sushi. Oh. <laughs> Didn't I say hi? Hi. Here in the shade bed, we added some bamboos last year. It's time to cut them back a bit. They're starting to spread. The jasmine also has woken up after a really hard prune, starting to cover the trellises we have at the back again. Maybe we'll get some blooms this year, although I don't see any beds. And over here, it's a bit of a sadness. I had a lot of ostas. I'll try to find a picture. This bed is full of gorgeous ostas. Here I have a hookah, I think called Paris. It's through the most gorgeous pink blooms. Then a little fern. And the star of the show right now, a gorgeous Christmas rose. It's gorgeous. I planted it a couple of years ago along with others and then I have two hookahs here. They look a bit sad but they're evergreen so that's really great. And if I turn around this is the flower bed in the sun where I planted 200 plus tulip bulbs recently. I tried to protect it with a bit of a chicken wire. I'll explain in a minute. Anyway, if we continue moving through the garden, on that little table, this is where I did our fall arrangement, I think back in October. And the plants still look good. We have gorgeous blooms from those violas. The cineraria also looks amazing. The rosemary lasted. The hookahs are still doing really good. Need to groom a little bit these lamps here. You can see we have some newer growths like this and we have leaves that deserve to be pruned a bit but it still looks good little heather i did have coleus in that little pot and in the center over there but of course it got taken by frosts it's okay i can i can replace them gorgeous oh and probably the most strange thing of all my little apple tree after two years has finally decided to bloom it does so in december <laughs> So we'll see, we'll see what happens to it next year. I'm not sure. All right, so you may have noticed a lot of chicken wire everywhere. Here I planted some hyacinths, some alliums, some small daffodil bulbs, and over here some more hyacinths. And so I bought some chicken wire. So you can see this is kind of like that specialized galvanized wire to protect the pots because I've had squirrels dig in into those two low bowls over there and completely decimating, actually maybe we can still see the carnage, they completely decimated. I had some crocuses and some narcissus, you can see, like I found some in the trees, like they completely ate everything, so actually I need to replant those spots. But essentially I've put in, in a good layer of wire on every single one of my pots and for some of them you can see i've added an extra wire just to make sure that hood stays on well those are new pots to replace my plastic ones so everything that you see here all of those are tulips or other spring bulbs ready to grow and hopefully they're going to be protected this is purissima and white prince who planted that in the um, planting tulip in pots video I have some more over here, actually with another lilac. <gasps> Sit back, come down. And I very recently redid this entire flower bed. I'll pop a picture of how it looked like when we moved in and then when we did the first change. And now it's a couple of months after we planted it. So this gorgeous hydrangea now, it's done flowering. It was absolutely beautiful. But I think the seed ads still provide a lot of interest right there and contrast really well with our little eucalyptus. Oh, I love that tree. I've been dreaming of having one for so long. I had some impatience around there. I need to replace them with winter bedding. And over here, this is our gorgeous tin tub. So we have two little shrubs, a euonymus and a pitosporum. It started growing a little bit, so we'll have to make sure we trim that. And then our grasses turned a bit. I think they're really gorgeous. They provide a lovely break and a lot, a lot of movement. We have our two camellias that are going to flower later. And I left up some seedets for the birds. Those were gorgeous echinaceas. 
Then I have two curry blends, some ukras and some ethers here, more ivy because that's gorgeous. And then over here, truly I was not expecting those these lamps here to grow to grow so much because over here we only have morning sun and those want full sun. So I do need, you know, to trim them and keep them size control and remove some dead looking leaves. So that's on my to-do list. But I still think it looks looks really good. And over here on the right I have planted some Japanese anemones so they'll shine again next year. And we still have our our little containers here is the hukra, the gorgeous cabbage <laughs> that has been a bit eaten, but the rosette still looks good. And then in the front here, we keep the grass long in the summer, and I just planted some spring bulbs, so hopefully, they'll come up. I hope you enjoyed this little tour, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.